Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis. Today we're going to be talking about coffee. One of my favorite drinks and a beverage that's drank by the millions and perhaps billions of cups every day around the world. This is coffee. This is coffee arabica, which is the uh, probably considered the best coffee in terms of um, its quality and flavor. Um, it's a native of um, Africa, um, but it's grown throughout the world in tropical areas where um, the beans are harvested and obviously roasted for our beverage. Um, you can see the leaves are very shiny. It's a beautiful tree. It has a, a lateral um, branching habit that kind of comes out and weeps down. Um, one thing about coffee is it's very um, easy to grow in terms of the home conditions. So for an indoor plant, it really is a great plant. If you've ever heard of shade-grown coffee, that is where um, coffee is grown under the understory of large trees and it tolerates the lower light. So that's a key in terms of our ability to grow this very well in a home situation where light levels may not be um, quite adequate. It also can be grown in full sun too. The other thing about coffee is it's quite tolerant to temperatures. Uh, we've grown it in some of our colder houses. We'll not take it below freezing, but um, it certainly can take it down to the 40s at night on a consistent basis and the plants will still um, be fine and, and grow well. The flowering cycle on it, generally for us, is the springtime, and um, you can see here the plants are just coming into bud. You can see the young buds forming at the leaf axis. This is also a point where the fruit is starting to ripen. Um, these are called cherries. They're the um, yellow um, beans that are harvested. You can see here's a, I'll pick one off here. There's one that's um, ripe, ready to go. There's a green one that was, um, came out of a later flowering cycle. Um, will ripen uh, probably during the summertime. It's still pretty small. So they can put out several crops a year. Generally our coffees here go into one huge flush. This within the next, oh, probably a couple weeks will be in full bloom. And the flowers are white. They're intensely fragrant. Um, it's a beautiful thing to have in bloom in the house um, when they're in flower. And we can look at these coffee beans here, which actually have a pulp around the outside, inside of them. Once you pull the skin off, there's a, a sweet pulp that if you taste it, it actually is, has a sweetness to it. And then the inside, there are two, it dropped one, but here's the two beans that would make our coffee bean. And that certainly looks like the brown or the roasted coffee bean. There's a husk on the outside of that that has to be removed before the coffee bean can be roasted and then ground for um, our drink. So in growing coffee, in terms of its culture, uh, you want to have a place that probably gets some direct sunlight, although they can grow under lower light. They'll do best if they get direct sunlight. Um, as a rule of thumb, you always want to um, bring the soil to dryness between waterings. They do tolerate some dryness, but severe dryness can harm them, as it does with many plants. Um, we grow them in a standard potting mix, which is um, our peat light mixes. Um, and they do pretty well with that. There is a small amount of problems at times with some chlorosis in the wintertime on the young growth. That's intravenal lightning on the young growth. Um, but generally that recovers as the warmth comes up in, this, in summertime and longer days arrive. And you want to fertilize your coffee plant. Not so much in the wintertime, especially if you're in a house under lower light, but in the summertime if you put it outside or the light level increases in the um, window that you've got, you want to start a regular fertilizing program with it. Um, generally, we do use a liquid feed or a granular organic, which is top dressed or you irrigate with it and do it regularly. Um, too much is obviously not a good thing, but regularly so the plant is constantly growing. As far as um, insects and disease goes, um, they are susceptible to mealybug. That's probably the most prominent thing that we um, see on them, and they can get scale insects if scale insects are in the vicinity where they can be, um, you know, make contact and move on to the plant. Thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on how to grow coffee, and for those that are adventurous, you can grow your own coffee beans, roast them, and make your own cup of joe. Cheers.